Okay, so quick update on my hand before we get cracking. Um, it's absolutely killing me. I'm up to my eyeballs on painkillers and all sorts at the moment, but I have finally got the first part of the procedure booked for next Friday, which is the pre-op. So hopefully, once the pre-op's done, the actual operation will take place fairly quickly. But that's why I haven't been doing many videos, because I'm absolutely in agony. It's really difficult to work. But anyway, I've been doing a little bit, tickling along. So today, I'm just going to show you a little bracket. I've been making these curtain poles. They're for, our, for a shepherd's hut which is basically like a gypsy caravan but not quite so fancy on wheels. Um, it's half inch round, keeping the shepherd's crook theme, or the shepherd's theme with the shepherd's crook. These are the two short bits, and these are the two long ones. I'll cut the short ones to match the long ones and then weld them together so that we get the exact length. It's a bit of a easy way of doing it rather than trying to work out exactly what material you're going to use in each bend. Um, but yeah, so what we need is some, if you imagine that's got to hang on the wall, you want some sort of hooks for it to hang on which will go sort of roughly where my little finger is, around about there. So I'm going to do them out of some 3.8 Round, so we'll get the fire sparked up and see what we can do. Right, I don't know if you can see here, I've got a mark on the anvil and I'm going to put that on there and hammer it down. I don't quite know what size it is. 45mm, just over a inch and a half, about inch and three quarter maybe. Well, there's no particular reason for that size, it was just, that's where I drew the line. So, I'm going to put it on there, whack it down, thin it out, and the reason I'm doing it on this side of the anvil rather than the other side of the anvil is that there's a nice rounded corner here, so I don't want it sharp like it would be if I did it on the other side, so I'm going to start it on this side, and then We'll move around to the other side and we'll flatten off the very end, put a sort of a real sharp, fairly sharp flat on it and then bend it over the beak. Then I've got this half round tool which I don't know where it came from. It's pretty old, war issue I think, 1943 it says on there. And you can see I've had to grind it to fit the Hardy hole. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. So we'll get this bit warmed up and see how we get on. Oh, it should be warm by now. So, on to the mark, give it some beans. Square it up, thinning it down to about half the thickness probably. So it's 10 mil bar, so it's down to about five mil. Or if you're an imperial, three eight down to, what's that, about three sixteenth or something, I don't know. The next thing we're gonna do is just take that edge off, just the very tip. We'll not take it off, we're going to thin it out on the very tip. So quite steep. Not too steep, but you know, that's about all it needs. Just knock it back a little bit, square it up, we'll get it warm again because with it being so thin, it cools down very quickly. Square the end up. Just make sure it's a fairly sharp taper. That's the word I was looking for, taper. And you can see there, it's only about, I don't know, probably three eighths long the whole thing. Square the 
sides up a little bit. Now the next bit, we're going to bend it 90 degrees, which is why I didn't want the sharp bend or sharp transition. Because when we bend it down, I want it to be slightly rounded. Just knock it down, keep it. Try and keep it uh, level and straight. Keep that bit from getting too damaged. And that's basically it. We've just got a, a rounded 90 degree bend. Nothing fancy. Right, now I'm going to start this little scroll, I suppose you could call it, on the end. It's just a tiny, tiniest scroll. You're bringing it up towards yourself. Just knock it back. And you see that's starting. Just want a little bit more, so it's a little bit tighter. Let's get it warm again. So with this being so thin it cools down very quickly but also heats up very quickly. So there's no camera trickery there. I'll just knock it back in again. Just very gently, you hardly have to do much in the way of tapping because it's it is so thin. And that's about it. So we've got this little tiny tiny little scrolled end fish tail type scroll in. Just cool the bar down, it's getting a little bit warm to hold on to. So now we'll get the other tools out and this I forgot to show you in the beginning. Just a little helper. It's just two bits of half inch round welded together and then welded to this bit of flat. It's basically so I don't need three hands. So I can hold that and the bar in one hand um, without either needing an assistant or growing another hand which I could do with at the moment alright so we're going to bend this down actually no, cool it out first just cool the, the tip out the, the bit that I've just made so I can hit it just start it bending round keep it square it's gone a bit pissy eyed. It's better. You can see what we're trying to achieve. I'd probably, if I was doing this on my on my own without the video, I'd probably do all this in one go, or a lot of it, and then fiddle about squaring it up afterwards. But it's best to try and get it all done in one go, and it gives my hand a bit of a rest because it's absolutely killing me. I'm not as dexterous with it as I should be. Right, so you can see what we're trying to achieve, and this is where the little tool comes in to play. And I can hold it with but one hand. Keep it, try and keep it in the middle. And that just puts a nice little round bottom on it. It keeps the bottom the right size for the bar that we're going to use for the pole. So it should sit nicely into it. And it doesn't take long to knock up one of these, especially if you've got to do you know, half a dozen or more and you want them all pretty much the same. It's uh, a pretty cheap, quick tool to get them all uniform. There you go. That's a nice rounded bottom, you've got no flats, no sharp corners, just a nice little rounded bend. So now we we'll just square it up again. It's got a, again it's got a little bit pissy eyed. And that's basically it. Now 
take another look at that, I think, from a different angle, so you can get an idea. See the, the nice rounded bottom tool combined with the top tool just gives a nice finish, takes any hammer marks out keeps it nice and round, there you go, look at that lovely little little hook that's basically it so I've made a load of these sort of bow tie brackets, they're just a bit of inch quarter or inch three sixteenth I think it might be just flattened at each end, only take a few seconds to make these and what I shall do is put a screw hole in one end down here, screw hole in the other end and a bigger hole in the middle which I shall put this bar through and obviously it's got to be cut off, I haven't quite worked out how long it's going to be yet but it'll be probably that or a bit shorter maybe depends what window frame is that we've got to get round and then I shall weld it on the back also I'm going to try and put in the front here a tiny tiny little grub screw so that when the pole sits down in its groove it, you can tighten the grub screw up so that the pole doesn't jump out the last thing you want is to pull your curtains at night and the whole pole come down um, so that's just about it really I will just show you it with the pole in so you get an idea how it's all going to sit and that's basically where it'll go pole sitting nicely in its groove and so grub screw in the front just to hold it in place I would like to put it in the back back here but the trouble is if it's not too far away from the wall if it's very short I won't be able to get an allen key in to do it up or it would be very difficult for the customer to get an allen key in to do it up but we'll see and that's just about it quick simple bracket thanks for watching